Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. So today we're going to get um, into some, I guess, Bottega inspired handbags. So spring is already, is, is it spring yet? I don't even know. Is it like technically spring yet? I live in Chicago, so one day it can be full blown wind, one day it can be snow, the next day it's sunny. I, I don't know the seasons anymore, but for our, our purposes, spring is near or almost here. Um, so we're going to get into these light colors, these fun handbags, these colorful handbags, which I definitely needed some. I got so tired of wearing the same bags. Like even if they're designer, sometimes you just want a non-logo bag. You just want a cute colored non-logo bag to wear and look cute. So I finally picked some up. Um, you guys might think they're all like kind of the same color. Maybe they are ish. They're definitely in the same family. So some taupes, some pinks, and things like that. Um, so let's get started. So all these bags I got from Marshalls, believe it or not. Um, I forgot how good Marshalls was like a long, long time ago. Um, I think my freshman or sophomore year in college, I used to work at Marshalls and I I kind of knew then, but it's been so long ago. I forgot that Marshall actually Marshalls actually had some decent things some of the times. Um, but I kept hearing that they had some like Bottega inspired bags. So what they were kind of meaning was this one in particular. Like this is pretty spot on. Like this, I might even deem like just a straight dupe, like straight Bottega dupe. Like the patterns of the quilt are very similar, if not the same as the original like Jody handbag. Um, the knot, everything, even the color. I think um, if you go on the Bottega website, this would be considered the teen size. So it's not mini, it's not small. Um, it's considered the teen size. Um, and they even have this color on the Bottega website. So this one right here, I really think it's a straight dupe. Um, it was $29.99. Now, how can I pass that up? How can I pass that up? Like the um, actual Jody team version is like twenty two hundred or twenty five hundred, something like that. It's a lot, lot more than thirty dollars, and it's like literally the same. Like this right here. Need not say more. Like really, and I love the color. Like pink is one of my favorite colors. Um, if you guys can tell by all the clothes that I always wear, but pink is one of my favorite colors. So I definitely needed something like a dusty pink. Um, and this was perfect. I do wish that they had a smaller size, um, but this is the one they had. So I just could not leave it there. I had to grab it. Um, but yeah, Sincerely Jewels is, I guess, the company name. But if you go to the Sincerely Jewels website, you'll actually see the full plot price or full retail price of the authentic version. So I'm not really sure um, that, but that's what it says on here, sincerely Joe. But if you go on the website, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. I guess they kind of like resell um, other handbags from designer handbags. I guess that's what that site is for. But um, this one was $30 at Marshall's and I'm, I'm loving it. It's so pretty. Now this pink, um, I guess it's considered Bottega inspired. I only consider things like a straight dupe if it's like undeniably the same. So I think this is, I don't think what say it has anything like this. Um, so it's definitely something, I guess, inspired just because of the shape and the handle. But it's so thick and it just feels, I don't know, it feels quality to me. Um, it just feels like quality leather. And I know I'm going to get some good wear out of this. It's just a cute springtime look. Um, I love pink. I love the gold hardware. I, I'm not a silver hardware <laughs> type of girl. Like, it's, it's the gold for me. This one was $39.99. This one um, is also by Sincerely Jewels. So, um, yeah, I'm loving it. And let me see. I have not even worn these handbags out yet. This actually has a good number of pockets, too. So, it has, like, two small pockets a zipper pocket and then this large opening right here so you know it's gonna fit all of your essentials 
and more. I just, I'm not a mini handbag girl. I just have not gotten into that and I probably won't. Like I need, I need all my stuff to fit and that's just period, you know? So next we have um, another Bottega Inspire handbag. I love the quilt on this, like the largeness of it. Um, it to me, this isn't heavily inspired or a dupe because the quilt is just obviously different than the Jody handbag. Um, it's a lot larger and it sticks out a little bit more. It's like a true basket weave kind of design, but I still love it. And the color is very, very nice as well. As you can see, this one was $29.99 at Marshall's. Love the gold hardware. Now this one, as you can see, it has these tabs right here because it does come with a strap. And I think this bag also is at like TJ Maxx and DSW. You can kind of tell because they always have these things on the end, but I probably won't wear it with the, like the crossbody strap because I don't know. I just feel like because this handle right here, ran it crossbody. I don't know if I would like that, but I will try it on for you guys so you can see it. And the crossbody strap for this bag is actually gold. It's cute. You know, I love me some gold. So, I actually love how thin this strap is. I love the thinness of this strap. But will I be wearing it? Probably not. But. You guys can kind of get the gist of it. And this is still right here. I haven't cut it off yet, but you guys can get the idea of how that will look. It's not bad at all. It's definitely not bad at all. Um, and I'll try it on just so you guys can see, but definitely I'm going to be holding this baby. I'm actually, I, I am more of a shoulder bag kind of girl. Like, I don't. This thing doesn't fit one of the other ones probably will, but um, I have to get used to holding this handle like this. Like, I, I'm, I like to be hands-free. So either like some type of wristlet or a shoulder bag or something like that, or um, I would just wear like a strap just like this. So I definitely have to get used to holding this thing like this, but um, we'll see. So let me just compare these two. Um... I guess these would be like the most Bottega inspired. But as you can see, the quilt or the weaving is definitely different. And this is this one is the one that I would kind of consider like a true dupe uh, because it's just so similar to the original Jody handbag. Um, the weaving is close-knit, tight-knit, whereas this one, as you can see, is larger and just kind of a different style. But I do love them both. I wish this handbag was in this size but it's just not so yeah but I do love all three of these um all three of them came from Marshalls but if you go to the website um at least for this one let me see this one is by Urban Express Urban Expression so if you go to the Urban Expressions website they will actually have a uh, like this bag and other similar handbags and you can just order because everybody tries to get, especially these two, well, mostly this one, um, from TJ Maxx or from Marshalls, but they are always out of stock. Like that's why I had to grab this one because I did, I didn't know when I was seeing it. Again. Like I wanted in a smaller version, but I just had to grab this one. Um, they're always out of stock, at least the ones in my location. Um, but yeah, you can tell the difference, but I love them so much. Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. Okay, guys. So right here, I'm just showing a comparison of the three handbags um, and what fits inside.
These two are the smaller of the three. Um, I guess I will consider these a size small, not many, but small. Um, this beige one right here, as you can see that inside is really kind of tight to get in, um, the opening. But we're gonna see what fits inside. Right here is my wallet. It was kind of a struggle to get that in, as you see. Um, some lip gloss, lip liner. And for the most parts, yes, your essentials can fit in this bag. Um, I am filming with my um, iPhone Pro Max, my keys. And that is the, the middle size from the Kirigami Louis Vuitton set. As you can see, it doesn't fit in there. Um, so you do kind of have to watch what you want to add in this smaller handbag. I kind of always like to take along a brush. So that's a must for me. But as you see, that opening, it is really tight. Like you're going to have to maneuver the bag a little bit if you're trying to fit more things inside. And I'm just showing you what it still looks like inside. It looks like it still has room for some smaller things, but I'm just gonna stop right there. It doesn't really distort the shape of the bag at all, so that's always nice. And as you can see, I did put a good amount of essential items in there. Now this one um, has that large opening and that smaller pocket right there. And the two pockets on the other side. So it has a good amount of compartments. And definitely enough space to fit everything that I just had in that beige bag. And this last one right here, it is the largest of all three. So it can definitely fit your essentials and more. And really, like, honestly, speaking of, I guess, like, inspired or dupe handbags, I almost don't know if I consider things a true dupe unless you straight up just have the LV or you straight up have CC on it and you're literally trying to pass it off as something else. So, I don't know. I consider these inspired. This one might be the closest to a dupe, which is fine. But it's just a plain handbag. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think about dupes and stuff like that? But it's it's a plain handbag that's quilted like is Bottega the only person to do that now if it had some type of Bottega name on it or something like that okay fine I can see that but I don't know so yeah I consider especially this one to be inspired but these are also some really cute handbags that have that shape and to me it's just a trendy shape a trendy style um to have the knot and everything right there so Tell me guys what you think in the comments. Um, thank you so much for tuning in yet again. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I already know you did, so I'm going to give you one more second to make sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, make sure that you guys are subscribed so you can stay tuned for my next video. I'm still going to do apartment tours and things like that. Let me know what you guys want to see. Like, if you like more of the fashion or if you like more apartment tours or relocation tips. Let me, let me know what you want to see or what you want to see more of, and I will work on that for you. Um, so until next time, see you guys later. Bye.